Hi, welcome to CRISPR Corner, a series where I'll be talking about all things gene editing and modulation. For episode one, let's start with the basics. What is CRISPR? Where did it come from? What can it do? CRISPR is an adaptive immune system found in bacteria, which researchers have turned into a gene editing powerhouse. CRISPR is also an acronym, clustered, regularly, interspaced, short palindromic repeats. The full name is a mouthful, but if we break it down, it tells us a lot about the system and how it works. Short palindromic repeats. Short stretches of DNA that are the same forward and backwards and repeated in the bacterial genome. These short palindromic repeats are regularly interspaced with unique spacer DNA. These spacer pieces of DNA are perfect matches to DNA from bacteriophages, viruses that infect bacteria. The other part of this bacterial immune system is CRISPR-associated genes, or CAS genes, helicases that unwind DNA and nucleases that cut DNA. Together, the CRISPR sequences and their associated genes form an adaptive immune system for bacteria to fight off infection from bacteriophage. Without CRISPR, when a bacteriophage injects its DNA into a bacteria cell, it will hijack the cell, use it to create more bacteriophage, and eventually kill the cell. But with CRISPR, the bacteria transcribes and translates the Cas proteins and transcribes the CRISPR DNA to make CRISPR RNA. Together, they seek out and destroy the bacteriophage DNA before it has a chance to kill the cell. The CRISPR RNA finds the matching sequence of bacteriophage DNA and shuttles the Cas nuclease to make a cut in that specific location. When the bacteria encounters a new bacteriophage, new spaces are added, leading to adaptive immunity. It's a system that's beautiful in its relative simplicity. CRISPR RNA is complementary to the sequence you want to cut, and Cas9 protein makes the cut. This led researchers to ask, what if we could use the system to knock out or otherwise edit other genes and in other organisms? This type of thinking led to the Nobel Prize for Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier for their discovery of the CRISPR-Cas9 system. These researchers used the Cas9 protein from Streptococcus pyrogenase, but modified the CRISPR RNA sequence to create what we now call a guide RNA sequence. They used their guide RNA and the Cas9 protein to show that we can use the CRISPR-Cas9 system to cut DNA at specific predetermined locations. This discovery opened up the world of possibilities for gene editing. That's it for today's episode of CRISPR Corner. Join me next time when I'll talk about Millipore Sigma's history with CRISPR and gene editing.